Thank you, Corinne. Thank you, Admiral. I was just wondering, with the renewed spotlight and scrutiny on President Biden in public settings this week, how he's preparing for the NATO summit, how yeah. you guys are deciding how many questions to take at the press conference. <laughs> what, what you got to ask, ask the press secretary that one. Everyone who's prepping him for a lot of this on Ooh. matters of national security well, so, and foreign so, policy. So, so am I. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. It's a team, it's a team effort. Um, uh, yeah, I, I will let Corrine talk about the, the press conference, the big boy press conference. <laughs> y'all are planning to have. Um, but he has already had discussions with his national security team in the lead up to the summit, as you might expect that he would. He's reviewing material. He's, he's doing his homework and getting ready. Um, he's got uh, the first uh, major set of remarks uh, tomorrow night at the Mellon Auditorium. He's working his way through those remarks, as you would expect him to do. Um, and he's getting ready for the uh, at least the two bilateral meetings that we know he's going to have specifically with the new prime minister of the UK and President Zelensky later in the week. So what I have seen from my perch is the normal amount of preparatory work that he does before a major international conference. No different than how he prepared for the G7 or for the events in Normandy or, or previous international fora. So it's pretty typical from what I've seen. And do you expect Vice President Harris to play a role in the events this week or to take any meetings during the time that she'll be watching? I can't speak for the Vice President's uh, staff and team, but I can have them get back to you about what her schedule is going to look like. Thank you so much, Admiral. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Admiral.